Hey you, wow, I look awful. Hey you, we made a game. Also, I'm wearing makeup. Cat attack. If you haven't heard by now, which would be impressive given how much noise I've made about it, we made a game and the game is out! There is a game that's out right now that you can play, that we made for you to play with your hands and look out with your face and lick with your mouth. I mean, maybe don't do that, but here is a gameplay trailer. Take a look at the game. The game that we made. For you. Cat attack. It's been a crazy journey of explosions and sleepless nights and painfully and embarrassingly long delays, but it's done. And it's crazy to think that this idea kind of came about either three years ago with my stupid video, Holy Shit Cats, or nearly six years ago with the stupid Edsworth episode I wrote called Movie Makers. But yes, Space Cats, they're here and they're queer. Maybe. You can currently get the game on Apple and Android devices over on the App Store and Google Play Store and hopefully Windows phones in the future, but that's a question for the guys over at Pixel Spill. Go ahead and just hound them until, until that happens. It's the only way. It's the only way. I tried to make the development of Caltech as much of a two-way conversation as possible, and when I asked you guys if you would rather the game be free with either adverts or in-app purchases or a one-off payment, you overwhelmingly said you'd rather just pay for the game. So it's like, you just buy it for a little bit of money and then everything is there in the game and you unlock it by being good at the game. You can do it, I believe in you. That's a dramatic thumbs up. And before you call me a big money-grabbing sellout, I want to remind people I didn't actually ask for anyone's money to make this game, I funded it by myself, and apparently we need to sell 20,000 copies to turn a profit, so... Shit. Shit. <laughs> Going back to the whole two-way conversation thing though, this game was a lot of fun to make and I would like to make more, so if there are things you did or didn't like about the game or ways you think I could improve as a game thinker upper man, then please do leave a review when you buy it because feedback good, more games make, fun, sentence structure bad. Script writing, unprepared. Making Cataract was a huge collaborative effort and I want to take a quick moment to list and thank everyone involved in making the game because without them it wouldn't have been possible and I don't even slightly trust you to read the credits. So here are the people behind the game. The primary voice actors of the game were Melissa Hutchinson, Adam Harrington and Gavin Hammond and I want to thank them for giving me their time and their beautiful voices and also Adam for setting it up. You're awesome, thank you so much. I also want to thank the YouTubers who agreed to cameo in the game, Felix, Gavin, Mark, Dan, Watt, and of course, Oliver824. If you guys ever want to play the game, that's fine, no rush. Please. The game, of course, wouldn't have been possible without the guys over at Pixel Spill, also known as Jim and David. Jim being the producer and project manager, and David being the Cody typey man, and also apparently crime fighter extraordinaire. We have Matt Frith, the very talented pixel artist who damn near drew the whole game, and also Christopher Jones, the secondary artist who came on to do the user interfaces and basically everything that was missing and saved, saved our butts. He saved our butts. Our butts are saved. Thanks, Chris. The game's cutscenes were animated by Jaunty Mr. Weevil Picking, who did an amazing job considering that we only gave him about a week because we were rushing to get the game out in August. The soundtrack was created by my lord and saviour and funk master 5000, Mr. Todd Little Deuce Deuce Bryanton, and you can buy the soundtrack directly from him on iTunes because he deserves all the money because he's amazing and I love him in the face. The sound design was done by one of my favourite workaholics and a man I've pretty much never seen not working, Mr. Dan Pugsley. And a man who deserves a massive thanks to the person responsible for the behind the scenes videos and also the lead tester who made sure the game was super super difficult, Mr. Elliot, Elliot Explicit Goff. Congratulations Elliot, you can now, you know, have like a day off. Maybe one or two, maybe. Maybe not. I can't thank absolutely everyone who beta tested the game because there were quite a few of you, but thank you very much if you were a part of that. Thank you to Ben Wantrop Smallman who realized we could take the words can attack and make it look like this and basically just a lot better. Thank you to Miss Haley Westnova who did a poster and some promotional artwork for the game and also Mr. Matt Lay who did a poster and also the promotional animation for the game. Yay! My condolences to Anthony Creed Price who did the original icon for the game which we ended up not using. Sorry about that. Much love to the very talented Kristen whose last name I can't pronounce who I described all the characters to and she drew them up as reference for the other artists. Thank you to Eddie Bowley who originally introduced me to Adam Harrington a few years ago which led to him being in my game which was cool. And thanks to Amy Guy and Elliot for developing the Counterattack website where you can find the development blog which is basically everything I just said now in slightly more visual detail. And finally, thank you for coming along with us on this journey and being a part of it and being excited and hopefully playing the game and enjoying it. Whew. Right, what are we working on next? Hmm. Choices.